day everyone, hope everyone's well. Today I'm investigating ship hunting and the thing I'm investigating about ship hunting is the problems that happen when people build bases over the top of crashed ship sites and how to fix it. Also, we'll look at finding base computers and talk about what happens when you delete a base. I've gone back to have a look at the crash site where I got that Sentinel ship from. This is the save on which I got the ship, so I'm not expecting it to be there. Well, the ship's there, right in front of me, because I'm flying it around, um, because I've already gotten it. But I've just gone back to show you that I deleted that base that was causing all the problems. Originally, I came here, I couldn't get the ship because every time I went near it, it flew off <laughs> and, and went all over the sky in a really random way. I realised that the landing pad was built over the place the ship was supposed to be landing. The ship was flying back and landing, but on the hillside just over there, and every time I went near it, it would take off and fly around and then come back. It was really weird. So I deleted the base and then the ship spawned exactly in this spot where it's supposed to, which allowed me to claim it as normal. And then I thought, oh, you know, make the video. And so unfortunately I cut out all the weird stuff. I should have kept it in but, you know, I know that people don't watch videos all the way through, so I chop things out sometimes to make things shorter, but they're probably really important things. Remember to turn off multiplayer, which by default, I have multiplayer turned off, unless I'm playing multiplayer. I check to see if it's off because I don't like being attacked by other players when I'm trying to build a kaleidoscope. If you're bored with this game and have to resort to that kind of thing, you are playing it wrong. It doesn't have a storyline that just tells you what to do every second. It takes a little bit of self-direction and exploration and creativity to really enjoy it. Well, that's my opinion on it. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm back in a different save and let's We'll put those glyphs in and we'll see what's going on. Here we are. It's in Euclid. And I will meet you at the site. I'll be back in a jiffy. All the coordinates and everything is on the other video um, with the Sentinel S-Class ship video that I put up recently. I made this video for people that know all about that ship and have been trying to get it most people got it with no problems at all but there's been a few so i made this video for them so if you're watching this and you're thinking what the heck is this about watch the other video first and there's the ship oh there see it's just taken off because it's supposed to be exactly where the landing pad is not next to the landing pad. That's not the crash site. As you saw a few minutes ago, that base is completely gone on my other save where I deleted this base. And now I've come back in with a different save. I've never been here or deleted this base before. It's respawned. As soon as I got out of my ship, it respawned. But there's a gap there. That didn't happen last time. But um, someone else in my comments told me about the GEC and they had this experience too. So yeah, I did interact with the GEC briefly, but um, see what happens. See, the ship's broken. That's not a normal thing, a GEC you know, when, when people sell ships, they don't sell them when they're broken. So in my game, this time around, um, yeah, it had trading current ship 
or a cost. I had to exchange because I didn't have any spare chips. So I thought, bugger that, this is meant to be free. And yeah, I thought, well, I, I know it looks like the same base. Yep, I'm having a look around here. Look, please stick with me on this one because this will show you what to do if this happens, right? And don't feel bad about it because obviously it only deletes the base in your save. So it probably doesn't even affect the player's base at all. And I used to feel terribly guilty about deleting bases. I think that this person built the landing pads out of good intentions to help people find it. I don't think they realize how much it messes the game up. I hope they get to see this video because it will give them some ideas. So there's a message beacon there, which I think the players put there to help people, you know, but I couldn't see any message. I don't know how those work. I've played this game for 2000 hours and I don't know how they work. I only use them in kaleidoscopes. So here I go. This is the same base absolutely that I deleted in my other save. So I've learnt something really big from doing this exercise and I hope it helps you guys. Have a look at this motion detector power switch. Awesome. Now I love those. I use them a lot and that's a good example of why it's fantastic if especially if you're a new player, to explore other people's bases because it really gives you some great ideas and inspiration. I love those circular lights that are on the wall. That's a great touch. I have a few building tutorials in the pipeline. So back to looking for this base computer. If you're trying to find a base computer, you need to look at all the bases you can see around and just see which is the closest. I mean, you've probably worked that out, but you know, it's surprising. Sometimes you just don't think of these things. You're just trying to find the computer itself, which is not always visible. So I had a look around. That one was too far away and it was outside. And I remembered that it was inside and I think it was under the floor. Yes, there it is. Look at that, it's down there. Now, you can interact with this. You just have to fiddle around a bit. There it is. And logged in as a guest. I'm leaving this in because this will be new for some people. So if you know how to do this, just skip ahead. Yes, that's funny because um, you know, sometimes you're not in a position to take a photo of the exact reason why you're deleting the base, but does it really matter? Because it seems to me that it only affects your own save. It's all gone now. Let's go back down to where the crash site is. And the landing pads are gone. So is the ship, but don't worry. I thought I would put down a save beacon here, seeing as the base is gone, just so that it will help people to find it. I'll put a red one down. But guess what? The base apparently is still there. It's just invisible, unless it's another base that's interfering with the area. But I don't see how that could be the case because I'm putting it right next to where the landing pads were. So interesting another interesting thing to all of this so now I'm going to hop in my ship and fly away so no matter what happens because other people have had different things happen where the ship is there and there's the geck or the ship's there and it flies away or the highline brain won't probe also it's likely that you need the inverted mirror and radiant shards before you probe the brain. I've never noticed because I've always got those resources. There's a lot of YouTube videos 
about getting the harmonic brain and probing the highline brain to get it and not mentioning about the resources that you may or may not need first and I've done it myself probably because I've got those resources on me because I play the game so much and it didn't occur to me to question that and thank you to the person who brought that to my attention in the comments anyway back to the crash site it took me a few minutes to find it because I'm not amazing at the coordinate thing but anyway here we go it's there on the crash site no gek obviously broken let's check that it is definitely an s class it's definitely the right ship and it is yes that's it all back to normal oh my goodness me hope this has been useful to anyone having trouble with it but that is how it's done so i'm salvaging all the stuff off of it and yes very nice and it's a marvelous ship to fly it's really responsive it's really worth getting this ship so i'm having a comparison i like my current ship the bat ship i think that's what i called it and um now comes the real problem right finding room to store this ship this is a problem you know for a lot of people that play this game and love to collect ships and multi tools so which one am i going to get rid of i discovered this s-class solar ship and made a video about where it is it's just great there's four super sarge slots close together so i want that one this one oh i love this i've got one other hot rod i really like them aesthetically and well this one is just gorgeous it's red white and black they're my colors that i really love wouldn't it be nice if we had a locker in the game a storage locker especially for storing extra ships and multi-tools that we really don't want to part with wouldn't that be nice or also except for if you're playing survival or um permadeath you can interact with that locker from other saves what a dilemma i guess it's going to have to be a sentinel ship um okay then so which one is it going to be probably this one it's so cool but um yeah it's only c class i can always try and find another one of these so that's it then i'm going to go and claim my awesome ship which is way better than the one i'm swapping it for so there we go that's the decision and thanks guys thanks so much for watching this has been a long one but it's been a learning curve and i'm sure we all got something out of it and lots of things to think about in this video catch you later